Okay, so the uh, playing order for, day, for today is one, two, three. We have first on court, Victor Bertus of Czech Republic taking on Dylan Russell. It's a nice length there from Victor. He's finding the corners very early in this game. Putting Dylan right in the back there. Hard to get the ball out when it is dying in those corners. interference there but Dylan knows that ball was far too far away from him to warrant any left. Gonna get stuck in in this game. Good start for the Cook Islander. Two love up, great start. It's always the case sometimes isn't it when you win a first game relatively easy you come on and you relax and then you find yourself a couple of points down early on. I don't think he came into the second game expecting to be down 6-3. Pace has gone up. Yeah, absolutely. left. Wow. Sort of feel like the Czech player is not actually getting onto the ball that quickly in the front. He's having a few opportunities up there and he's waiting a while to hit the ball. That's a nice finish to the second game though. Fairly regular over the last two or three World Championship events. So we have the European Team Championships, obviously, that they play in. And, uh, you know, their, their players are uh, starting to push up, and I know a lot of the pros are, uh, are based in uh, Prague. And uh, it's Great only push. got to help the local, the local players uh, improve and perform as the, uh, you know, as they, uh, as they, get, you know, get further and further up the up the yeah. ranking. So. I think you can see probably Czech Republic coming up with a few more players, I think, in the future. Get on with things. And yeah, he's definitely picked up the pace in this game. Oh, that's a lovely hold there from the front. Czech player has found himself with nine game match balls. A nice way to finish. So, Victor Bertus has taken the first match between Czech Republic and Cook Islands. He's won three love in 21 minutes. Scores were 11-2, 12-10, 11-1. And we have the second match on court now. Daniel McBib against Brian Tapuro. Oh, 
I mean, these guys are not only, you know, stepping up about three levels on their playing, but, you know, as, as you know, the first time they play on that glass court is a challenge, isn't it? Yeah, I think they've had one practice, I think, before they've jumped on. So it is hard to see, you know, you've got the lights up top. It's very hard to see the glass walls. And this, uh, this morning might have been the first time Brian had actually played on the glass court before. But uh, it's a celebration of squash here this week, and all the nations that have entered in the tournament. Uh, what a fantastic way of uh, representing your home nation on the world stage. to take the first set out at 11-3 there in game one. Brian actually hits the ball quite well this time. He hits the ball well. I'm actually surprised he's not a B2, he must be a B1. I'm a B2, I know a B1 when I see him. Fantastic cross court nick there by Brian Tapuro. What do you make of that shot, Stu? That was a, that was a great shot. He needs to record that and keep it. Shout to his grandkids. A little mini come come back here. Three six. Later when they're playing this le this level, but he's he's getting up and trying to volley the ball and trying to get winners rather than just waiting the rally out. This is a T position. He's right up there on the, uh, on the blue line, isn't he? He's a bit slow getting across there, wasn't he? Nine, three. Yeah, it was a nice flick from Daniel there, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, anything, from sh anything that's short, Daniel's just taking it straight in. It's virtually a winner. Three. The right shot to play there, but just caught the uh, bottom of the tin. Racing for the flashing line here. Close this match out. Eight, two. Straight off the frame, wasn't it? Three it doesn't matter how you win the point, as long as you win the point. Down. And Trying to re repeat that cross coordinate that Nick from, uh, from earlier. Didn't quite come off that time. A little, little further back, a little bit more high risk that shot. And there we have it, 11-3 to Daniel McBird to take that match three games to love. So three games to love there for Daniel, 11-3, 11-3, 11-3. Takes the win and the tie for the Czech Republic, two games to zero.